Hey, what's up, people? It's Billy. Uh, I want to do this video on Xbox evangelism, and uh, start it off, to start it off, I just wanted to talk about why actually you should uh, evangelize in general, and I mean not just Xbox evangelism, but you know all evangelism. So, first off, um, the main reason is because Jesus tells us to do it, um, to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. Uh, so this is a good, you know, a good place to do that, you know, not just to, to make disciples in our nation or our neighborhood, really, but, you know, all nations. And um, that was, in, yeah, that was in Matthew 28, 19. And I think Mark, Mark uh, 15, 16, if I'm not mistaken. Um, another reason why you should do this is because, um, you know, you should do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So, you know, like, who, who was the person, like, imagine that person who, who shared the gospel with you and made you a believer, and, you know, because of that, you got saved. So, it, you know, it's like, it's like the right thing to do, I guess, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it's just the right thing to do. Um, and another, another thing, um, like, say, you know, when you get to heaven, and after, like, say, you know, you evangelize on the Xbox, or I guess anywhere, um, you know, you get to heaven, and then you find a dude, or somebody who you find who they got your message, or they they found you evangelizing, or you spoke to them about Jesus, and you spread the gospel to them, and they're in heaven because of you. Well, and Jesus really too, um, but you know what I mean. You know, wouldn't that be a blessing because of you? That's why that person's in heaven because you decided to evangelize or spread your faith and not be you know shy or not be um, afraid, you know. You went out and, you know, got out of your comfort zone and, you know, got them in. Um, and another reason is that it bears good fruit. Um, it, and plus, I think, yeah, Jesus says the unprofitable servant will be thrown into the outer, dark, the outer darkness. So, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you, you have to evangelize. Or you don't have to evangelize. I mean, you should, like, at least tithe, I think. Um, but... I guess, then again, it is a commandment to spread our faith to all people of all nations um, in the world. So, but yeah, he, it's, it's, it bears good fruit, and uh, you get rewards in heaven even um, when you get there. You, even, you get, I think, everlasting crowns by Jesus and special privileges, I think, in heaven. Um, so yeah, th those are my reasons and why I evangelize. And, I mean, it not just Xbox evangelism, but, um, you know, evangelism in general. But this is where I do it the most because, you know, it's just easy, easier and convenient. I can reach more people in less time, so yeah. Um, so, now, how you want to do this is you go on the video game like me. I'm on Halo Reach, and right now I'm just in Forge World. I'm just, I got here because it's a nice view. Um, but yeah, I was playing Halo Reach, and, uh, I've played with uh, 50 people. That's how many f people it could fit in your recent players list. So uh, I did that, and then I right here I go and click my friends or any one of the things up here. Go to recent players, and then click the first person there. Go to send message, change gamer tags, and then scroll all the way down past your friends uh, to your recent players list. Okay. Okay. Now that you're there, um, simply just check mark everybody's name um, under that first person's name until you get to the fiftieth one. And uh, as you're doing this, actually, it's a good idea. I mean, I don't do this all the time, but I mean, it, it never hurts, you know. It's a good idea to just pray to uh, to God to uh, for Him to soften these people's hearts and uh, prepare them for the gospel, prepare them for your message, and pray that they read the message, pray that they, um, you know, just get touched by it, and, and uh, come to come to know God and be saved by Him. So, yeah. Okay, now that you uh, got everybody's name, press B, go to add text, 
so now you want to um, this is like you, you can do whatever you want here whatever I guess you can you can know you can, you can send uh, you know need a prayer request you can send uh, you got any problems or you know like you can you can like minister to the people you know make them not just feel better but I mean you don't just want to say hey you know you got any problems I can solve them maybe you know you want to eventually get to the gospel if that's your method you know always get to the gospel and like say if you meet somebody because uh, you, you're gonna be people who are you know naysayers you're gonna be you know God's not real yada yada you know they, they do that stuff and they, they try to um, they try to get you mad they try to um, whatever you know bad stuff of course at first I was getting really angry but then you know eventually it just happens so much you know it's not even a big deal but anyways um, what was oh yeah what was I talking about? oh yeah this thing you can you can uh, just talk about whatever um, but of course lead the gospel always but me um, I always um, I got two of the same messages I mean mine's evolved over the course of a couple months now but this is what I got right now and uh, I go I, I, t I tell the people to go to my YouTube channel or not my YouTube I used to do that but then I, for some reason it's not showing up now so I say look up this playlist that I have on my channel it's called uh, proof God is real and uh, you can look that up by name um, and it, it'll, it'll be a playlist and then I say it's about my, my uh, YouTube channel Jesus Reigns and it has 41 videos in it, in it as of now and uh, I say the Christian God has been proven real and uh, do you want to accept him and make uh, Jesus Lord of your real life and uh, you know he patiently waits for you because he does really he, uh, he hasn't forced himself on people he I mean he may ask but he doesn't shove himself down the, the people's throats, you know. So, that's uh, the first message I send. The second one, and you gotta do this quick, because then they start messaging, messaging um, stuff, and I, I want to get to them quick and answer them questions and convince them that God is real. Um, but then the second message, I say, if you do become convinced God is real and wish to be saved, please look up Noah Movie HD Official for full version. Uh, it's by Living Waters, which is a it's a great ministry uh, in San Diego, and uh, they uh, they have a weekly or yeah a weekday TV show or not a TV show but a broadcast um, called the Comfort Zone, and you can find them on YouTube. Their the YouTube channel is called Living Waters slash Way of the Master, and uh, it's a very very good channel. Like, but that movie Noah movie this is not the Hollywood one. Uh, there's three of them actually, or I guess there's four of them. The old one, Noah. Uh, the new Noah, which is a Hollywood one, that's not even biblical, really. Um, very scarcely biblical, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I don't advise watching that. Um, but this one, this Noah I'm talking about, it's 30 minutes long, and it touches on true and false conversion, so people actually know if they're saved or not. I mean, but there is another one by Living Waters, but it's an hour long. It's called Hell's Best Kept Secret. And uh, for you Christians, I strongly advise that you watch this video because it... It um, it takes you in a deeper, into a deeper walk with God, and it's just very good, and uh, it, it's just down to earth. It, it you know it's real. It's it, it's like in the real world. You know what I mean? So yeah, I tell them that if they're Christian, and I ask the Christians to watch this too, because it's an eye opener, and uh, and then end it with uh, be blessed in Jesus' name, and have a good day, and that you know ends it on a good note for most people. So uh, and, and it's friendly. So I do that. And uh, let me type this up now, so I'll be back in a second, actually. Okay, guys, so now I sent that message, and uh, just some uh, last, you know, tips and information. Um, well, one thing's good, I guess. It's a good thing to get a, a keyboard for the controller. Because I can type the messages real fast, or I guess faster than usual, and I don't have to, you know, be all, you know, take, you know, 10 minutes for one message. So, it's a good idea to get to invest in one of those, um, if you can, I guess. Um, another thing, don't, I mean, like, I, I used to do this, like, I mean, I used to, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is it's not good or bad. Well, I guess it, it was, it was really good that I was doing this, but it was bad because... I was getting kind of burnt out, or I guess it wasn't really getting burnt out, I was getting pretty close to it, you know, because I was doing this all the time, every 50 people, I mean, I still do it every 50 people, but like, after I get 50 people on this thing, I don't send the message until like an hour later, 
and I just play campaign or something, I, you know, I just kind of chill, take it easy, don't stress yourself, because then you're going to get so many messages in so quick of a time by doing this, and like you can't talk to, you're going to get confused by the people who you talk to and you think there's somebody else, and then that might even drive them away, so don't like, don't send messages constantly, like do all you can handle, I guess. And remember to take breaks, and remember to have solitude and time with God, you know, don't just, don't just overdo this, you know, like, I, I know some people, I mean, a lot of people probably won't do this, but, I mean, I used to do this at least, um, over, overboard, and like, you know, I would, it's kind of hard too, I mean, because, you know, you know people are like left and right are going to hell, and you want to do all you can to get these people, um, you know, away from there, but, I mean, even Jesus, he took, I mean, he, ditched, I mean, he didn't ditch people, but, you know, he, he left the crowd to go find solitude and pray to God and be with him alone, you know, away from the people, so, um, I'm just saying, like, if even Jesus did that, you know, he, he had to get some time off and, and take breaks, um, so, yeah, it's a good idea, so, you know, not to get, uh, burnt out, and, and then you won't become, you know, valuable, because, like, just let your mind become a coach on this thing, and don't let it, you know, be a slave driver, and, and, you know, whip you and you know into doing this all the time so let your mind be a coach and not a slave driver so yeah and um oh yeah well yeah well no never mind yeah i'm gonna make another video uh pretty soon on my playlist in my channel um because my channel i don't really i mean i don't have my channel for like these type of videos i mean i do these every once in a while just so you know i can encourage somebody or you know like this you know uh tell people on ideas on how to evangelize and uh, stories or whatever but mainly my channel is for the playlist you know like I have a playlist uh, that proves God is real one that proves Islam is false which is they, ca they kind of go hand in hand with Mormonism because Islam came out the same way that Mormonism did sort of like in the same way that the Bible said are false ways but I'll probably go deeper into that in another video maybe because I mean well, maybe not because I already have uh, videos disproving um, all these different religions on my YouTube channel already in the playlist. So um, if you haven't already, please check out my playlist on YouTube. Um, so yeah, they got they got a bunch of good stuff, like stuff specifically for Christians and music I like, you know, Christian music or uh, just good stuff like that. So um, try to check that out if you can. Um, but I sincerely. I do sincerely hope this encouraged you guys and moved you to work for the kingdom. And uh, may you guys be blessed and remain under God's grace. And uh, I'll talk to you later, guys. Peace.